Getting lucid in our daydreams, I believe, is a way to get lucid in our night dreams. It also drives us to take control, which I believe plays a huge role in lucidity. Because when we are lucid in our daydreams, we do what we want, right? Because we know what's going on, so we take control. We are not a victim of circumstance. I'm basing this off of my own experiences. So see, this channel is sort of like the school of self for me that I talked about in the other video on here where I can use my creative abilities to modify my own brain, as in being a conscious observer, exploring, altering, repairing, and working on aspects of myself in my own psychology, being my own therapist, my own motivational speaker, etc., wiring things into my brain as I choose. That's the biggest part of it. Memory. Wiring neuro pathways into our mind. And so I believe that this act of realizing that we are daydreaming as we are daydreaming can too carry over into the nighttime dream state, which I believe is what makes it an effective lucid dream induction practice. And so I'd like to introduce to the world a brand new lucid dream induction practice. I want everyone to exercise their creativity because I firmly believe that the evidence points to a connection between the two. Not only do I think that creative activities increase dream richness, but they also make it a lot easier to daydream. I think that daydreams in, in the ones that we have at night, in a way, are two of the same. We are only experiencing them under different circumstances. At least this is what I think. I mean, I, I'm not an academic researcher, but this is my perspective on it. So one such circumstance is that our bodies are paralyzed which is at nighttime when we're asleep and our eyes are closed. And the other time, the daydreams, our bodies are wide awake and our eyes are open. But I believe the actual dream space can exist in either state, and I think that the daydreams are pretty much the same thing as night dreams, other than the fact that we're up and we're awake. But I'd be very interested to read about any scientific findings on this sort of thing. So the other day when I caught, I, I caught myself and realized I was daydreaming and it was really, really exciting because I was just thinking about the other day and I put out a YouTube video on the topic and I was discussing it in another video and how we can wire things into our minds and it's, just, it's as if I did wire this into my mind. It, I wired the idea of lucidity within daydreams into my mind and it induced a moment of lucidity in the middle of a daydream. I was having and then I realized that me creating that video is what helped make that happen I, f I felt elated and I even talked about the whole idea behind how I did this in another video on here the school of self one so my point is all of this is proof besides the science we know about how memories work and repetition it's proof that you can work with your own mind using a pen and paper or even YouTube which YouTube when I say YouTube I mean like being creatively expressing ideas and epiphanies and realizations in your mind and I'm, that's what I'm using YouTube to do I'm using YouTube as a canvas and I am the artist you know what I'm saying so I really think these YouTube videos are like the ultimate I really think making these YouTube videos is like the ultimate school of self for me because I'm literally thinking out loud except to the world you guys my followers and it's really awesome I mean I amaze myself with the brilliancy of the ideas that are flowing sometimes and I have to say what I think and act what I think the act of creating for YouTube is contributing to this I have to say that I think that and, and writing writing what flows as it comes to me and manifesting these thoughts that naturally exist within me and want to rise to the surface to be recognized analyzed and dealt with accordingly to allow the mind to unfold as it sees and to express and interpret all of the epic ideology that desperately wants to be both known and applied i'm going to read that last one again because i really like it to allow the mind to unfold as it sees and to express and interpret all of the epic ideology that desperately wants to be both known and applied. So I want to encourage anyone interested in dreams and lucid dreaming to check this out, and I'll link to some other videos at the end of this one, a lucid dreaming tutorial sort of thing, and another video, my original video on daydreams and lucidity. By the way, no offense or hostility or anything, but on here that anything that you hear some some of the things that you hear on here that's my original that i that i straight up say is mine please you can't use that as your own i mean in case anyone is one of those kind of people and i really try on this channel to avoid any wrongful use 
of fair use policies or plagiarism or anything like that. I, I really try to keep this original and to not use anybody else's thing. If I quote somebody or if I heard some, a fact from another, a certain source, I'll, I usually, I'll say it or I'll put it in the description. So, and I, I, I want to ask the same for other people. And I try to make things on, as original as possible on this channel. By I, I try not to just repeat the same 2,000 things that you hear other YouTubers say. Because I think YouTube users want new ideas, original ideas. They don't want to see the same thing over and over and over on 10,000 different channels. So thanks for listening. And if you enjoyed this video and my channel, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and a share. And I thank you all. Thank you.